Hi everyone, it's Justin. When wearing jewelry, there is a rule that says one should not mix metals. You should wear either silver or gold, for instance. But then what about other colors, like rose gold? It's also a metal color. What about people who say, I'm actually cool-toned, and yet I prefer wearing gold jewelry? How come? I get this kind of questions a lot. And while most people are naturally attracted to either cool or warm metals, you can actually mix both. And here are four ways of styling different metal colors together. Number one, which metals, which colors to mix? Let's say you tend to wear only silver. The easiest way, the first step, is to try adding in some rose gold. Because while silver works very well for people with a cool skin undertone, rose gold is perfect for people who are neutral. So it comes back to adding a little touch of color without clashing, without fighting with your skin or with your silver. The same thing goes for people who are warm toned and usually wear gold. Add in some rose gold, it will make your gold gold shine even more in contrast, especially if the golden gold is 24 carats, which is the purest and the most yellow sort of gold there is. If right now you're wondering, am I actually cool or warm? Um, I've done a video about that in the past, it's on my channel, I will link it here in the little card as well as down below in the description. I explain in that video three tests that take under a minute each and you will find out which undertone you are, it's important for this video. Now back to what I was saying. Anyone can basically wear some rose gold on top of their usual metal colour. But for it to work nicely and to give a nice contrast, you want to wear rose gold and your usual metal very close to each other. For instance, two rings, one gold, one silver, one rose gold, one silver on the same hand, or two necklaces of different colors around your neck. This way the colors will highlight and emphasize each other very nicely. Whereas if you wear one ring in silver here and then earrings in rose gold, it, it's too far from each other. You won't get that desired effect. Point number two. In which proportions can you, should you, mix metals? It's about setting an accent versus making a statement. And that's a question to you. Do you want your jewelry to be uh, an accent in your entire outfit? Or do you want really to make a statement? What matters on that point is the surface of the jewelry that you have. So this, the size of the pieces. Example here, adding a rose gold knuckle ring to a big uh, silver ring is setting an accent. While if I had two big rings, one in silver, one in rose gold, that would be much more of a statement because you're wearing equal proportions of the two colors. Proportions always depend on you, on your personal style and tastes, but also on how much attention you want your jewelry overall to attract. Are they supporting discreetly your outfit or are they its centerpiece? In my case, I think there is no statement ring big enough. <laughs> And I will always prefer a huge arm cuff over a dainty bracelet. So if my jewelry is stealing the show, I'm happy. But it's really up to you. Point number three, matching your clothes versus contrasting with them. At this point in the video, this is where the garments that you're wearing come into play as well. If you're cool toned and you're wearing a cool color, like this blue v-neck top, it's clearly a cool color then matching would mean wearing silver jewelry, which is what I'm doing right now. The other way around, if you're warm toned and you're wearing a warm color, like this green top, same design, different color, then matching would mean that you're wearing gold jewelry. Now, to create contrast instead of matching your clothes, if you wear the green top, you could pair it with rose gold, as we've seen before, or you can even try silver. And the other way around, with this blue top, if, one, if I want to go wild <laughs> and create some nice contrast, I can wear rose gold all over instead of silver, or even try gold. That kind of rule breaking works very nicely if your undertone is neutral. Neither really warm nor really cool. Because you can wear any color when you're neutral. Lucky. <laughs> that works if you're neutral and or if you're wearing an outfit that is of the color blocking type, because color blocking looks in general tend to give an idea, a, an image that is perceived as being modern, contemporary, versus when you wear matching, 
more harmonious color palettes, it's sartorially perceived as being more conservative. How to be perceived depending on the color palette of your outfit, this could be an entire video in itself. I think that's a topic for another time. If you're interested, let me know with a comment down below. But right now, I think I know that some of you are wondering, wait, Tristan always wears silver. I thought she was cool toned. Why is she not wearing green and, and gold jewelry and it looks all right? Um, <laughs> I've never said that in a video before because I don't want you to be confused when looking at me through your screen. In real life, I'm actually neutral. So I do gravitate towards silver for my jewelry, clearly, but I can also wear gold. And there are colors of, of clothing that suit me very nicely in the warm color palette, like this green. So when some of you look at me through the screen and say, oh, I think I'm like Justine, I'm gonna ask what she is so that I know what I am. I always say, don't do that. Look at your own skin, do the tests that I recommended in the other video. Um, look at your skin in good daylight without sunlight, find out for yourself because you see me through a camera, a video that is color corrected with artificial lighting. I don't think you see me the way I am. <laughs> and I wanted to address that in case you're confused, just so you know that I'm neutral, so it's kind of an exception. Don't use the way I look to judge your own undertone. Number four, matching your jewelry with your accessories or contrasting with your accessories. Let's say I have a handbag that is a core piece in my outfit and it looks like this. It's red with a silver looking more or less metallic chain. If I want to match my accessory, I will wear silver jewelry. That's a no brainer. If I want to add contrast and if I want my jewelry to be more visible because that bag, that chain is taking so much attention already, I will wear gold or rose gold. And that would create a nice contrast. For that one, I would probably take rose gold because the bag itself is red. The other way around, if you have a handbag or an accessory that has a, a golden, color to it. It doesn't even have to be gold, like uh, golden hardware on a handbag. Matching would mean wearing gold with it and mixing means wearing rose gold or even silver. Note that many handbag brands, many, many, <laughs> offer accessories with golden hardware only and there is no silver-like version. So I always wonder what about people who are cool toned and who think that gold really doesn't look flattering on them. <laughs> I'm not saying it's fair, but I've noticed over and over that people with a warm undertone really have more choices and more options on the market. By the way, the jewelry that I'm wearing and showing in this video is from my Mirage collection, which is now back in stock after selling out completely when it first launched. I will put a link if you're interested and want to have a look in the description down below for you. Right now we have all designs all sizes and all three metal colors available. So that's silver, gold and rose gold, exactly because of what I said in this video, because I wanted every skin undertone to find options, <laughs> to have choices. The link necklace, which is a limited edition design, is also back in stock in all three colors. Once it's gone, it's gone, because this one will never be produced again, so you know. <laughs> If you don't know which collection I'm talking about, <laughs> it's the collection that I launched a couple of months ago. I will link here and down below the launch video that I did where I explain my inspiration, where the designs came from, and I show each piece in details. Now, the V-neck tops that you see in the video are the latest addition to my website. It's a V-neck top that's available in four colors. It's made in tensile. It's produced sustainably and ethically 100% in Europe, and it's now available in six different sizes. I'm extremely happy with how the fabric and the colors uh, turned out. It's custom knitted for me, <laughs> so the fabric doesn't exist anywhere else, and the colors are completely custom dyed. Extremely happy with these. The link is also down below in the description. I hope these tips will help you have fun while styling your jewelry to achieve different looks, may maybe more varied looks. Remember that rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> this is what my draping teacher at fashion school said, and I couldn't agree more, but in order to break the rules first, we have to understand what they are. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your support. 
and I will see you next week in the new one. Take care. Bye.